the Thieves are people that primarily inhabit the lower western part of Benue State, Nigeria. Their kindred groups can also be found in Cross River State, Enugu State, and also Nasarawa State, all of Nigeria. I'm Sarah Tu, Saibichiri, and the program is Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure. Let's learn a bit more about this ethnic group. Arguably the fourth largest ethnic group in Nigeria, the Tiv people are an ethno-linguistic group in West Africa with a population of over 7 million throughout Nigeria and Cameroon, with its language spoken in Benue, Taraba, Nasarawa, Plateau, Cross River, as well as the federal capital territory, Abuja. The Tiv people are subsistence farmers, whose main crops are yams, millet and sorghum, all of which are eaten as porridge or made more palatable by their combination of sauces and stews. It is said that the typical Tiv person does not hold back when it comes to food. I know and very sure till date for a Tiv man, he cannot eat alone. That's communal eating. You know, they just put the food, they dish it so much, anybody coming will just come, join and eat. When I give you food and you tell me, Uyo, I feel happy that yes, indeed, you've eaten the food and you're pleased with my food. And so when I visit you and you give me food, to appreciate your efforts in cooking the food and all that you've gone through it, I'll simply tell you, Uyo. And when I want to appraise you more, I tell you, Uyo, Ishi, meaning in fact, you have done me well, so well. Tiv people are known for their artistic prowess, which dancing is one of them. The ancient tribe continues to preserve its traditions, even in the modern world. The Tiv tribe has no dialect. That is why the people can understand each other in any region of their settlements. This fact helps the ethnic group to save their culture and identity over the years. Yeah, to the best of my knowledge, I, I think um, the Tiv people do not have different dialects. I know that, um, you know, there are little twists and turns when um, a thief man speaks, maybe someone from Gwe West, a Harry man, when he speaks, you will know. When the Gwe man speaks, you will know that this one is Gwe as a thief person. Our culture binds us together. We all know the black and white, which is a binding factor. Anywhere you see, you just know that this is a thief person. And um, our food, we have similarity in eating and so when you meet a thief person in fact from the food when a thief man tells you nam pocho haram you know nam pocho haram kome you know what the person is saying pocho is a very um it, it's a household name among the thief it is very difficult to find a thief person uh, um, in diaspora or away from home that will not love his brother or her sister or love each other so I think the fact that um, we do not have dialects that you know separate us binds us together because we have cultures we have similar things that brings us together it's a very normal thing the culture of the tribe has retained its uniqueness customs folk crafts and art The people of Tiv land have one of the most unique cultures in Nigeria, which can be seen in various aspects of their lives, clothes, the tradition of marriage, music, dance and food. Today on the program, I have with me a chef who will be showcasing Assumption's delicacy, which is enjoyed by the Tiv people of Nigeria. 
take a look at her profile. We are currently at the Zanzibar Grills and Bar located at Quintana, Abuja. What are we showcasing today on the program, Chef Benita? Okay, for the program, for today we're going to be making a, having a two-course meal. Mm. That's the agwagi and the uh, acha pudding. Mm. And we're also going to be having a, a natural drink, a tiger nut drink. So, Everything we want, everything to be Nigeria. Wow! So you have a choice of taking it either you're taking the abadi with the tiger nuts mm -hmm. or the with abadi. So Are you ready to yeah, start? Yeah. So <laughs> let the cooking begin. <laughs> when it's fully matched. Okay, everything will, like the whole beans, you won't see the whole beans. Like you can see this one. Is you can there. achieve that? Yes, I can. With the spoon? Yeah, I have it. Uh, this is an iron spoon, so mm. it's that's advantage. How about using a spatula? Ah, no. It's it's spatula, no, no. It's spatula, like too soft for it. Wow. Even a baby can eat this. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's the idea. Wow. So at this point, it's mashed and ready to be prepared. Mm. So this is where the real cooking begins. Oh. At this point, I'm going to add in the water and the rest of the ingredients. That's the palm oil, mm. pepper, onion, and the fish, the dried fish. Crayfish and then seasoning to taste. Mm. Just add the water first. Okay, thank you. Then I'll add the, um, the pepper. Okay. Yes. So, how much of it? Okay, that's yes, just yes, yes. So, I've added in the pepper. Mm -hmm. So, I'll add in the onion. Yes. So you can just help me to make it. All of it? Yes, all of it, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I stir it a bit. Then this is I'll add in the palm oil. At this point? Yes, at this point. Mm -hmm. the oil. Just please turn it when it when you um we don't make sure we no no I want your yes that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so can you see? Adding the cream right now. Okay. The fish will be the last thing. All of it? Yes, all of it. Yes. Okay. So. Mm. I can't see me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Unique. Coming together, mm -hmm. seriously. Unique, unique aroma. Yeah. So, I just going to have to add in the, the fish. The dry fish. The dry yes. fish, yes. Been washed and been picked the way I want it, so yeah. just turn it in. Crayfish. Crayfish. All of it? Yes, all of it. Like you know, crayfish is always um, the last thing to put. In every delicacy you're trying, you're making. Why is that? Yes, because it really helps to retain the flavor better. But when you, if uh, if we added it earlier, to have cooked and uh, you don't, won't be able to get the flavor mm. when you're eating it. So it's always the last ingredient that if you're having a meal that has crayfish, crayfish always the last. Mm. So, so. 
So at this point, you know, a lot of spices have a lot of um, flavors have been incorporated. Yes. So um, I actually measured this because it's what I've been doing for a while. So yes. this will just be enough for it. So the salt, the salt and the seasoning. So I'm not going to add any water, I'll just increase my um, flame a little bit and let it steam. Mm. So once it's steam, I'm back in it's ready. Ready to serve. <laughs> so we'll let this sit for how long now? Let it sit for at least two to three minutes. Okay. Yeah, if it's and we're using an industrial gas, so industrial gas is work mm. at speed. So it will help yes. with the steaming yes, to be faster. Yes. All right. And afterwards, the albaki will be ready to serve. Yes. Wow. Albaki is, is ready. The albaki is primarily served with a den that's a, a chunk of catfish. So I'm going to cut out the chunk. These are the ones I need, so I'm going to wash it but still have those things. I'm going to wash it properly and then spice it up. Marinate it so why? You're marinating for how long? For at least five minutes. Just uh, five minutes is good. Okay. okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn in the fish here. Ready to now put in my pepper. I'll put everything. This has marinated for yes. some minutes. Oh. <laughs> what is it to fry up from um, catfish in very, very hot oil? Okay, it helps to make it fry. When you put um, catfish in very hot oil, uh, it helps to make it fry very well mm. and it doesn't cut out by the end of the week. Okay, okay. okay. Mm. that's why. Fish is fried. Yes. yes. And yes. it's dry. Yes. It's dry. not soggy. Yes. And it's not very thick or anything. It's the best way to fry catfish. Obviously. <laughs> Like I said earlier that they are working it's the beans meal served with a den that's a chunk of um, the catfish and then serve with deep fried plantain. Are you going to slice this? Yes I am. Oh okay. Let's so, see you do it. Yes. The salt trying to spice it up a little bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
the yeah. plantain is ready. ready. Yes. Anything beyond this now will be fun. Yes, you want. <laughs> You take it out of the oil. For my tiger nut drink, this is the ingredients I need mm. to make it um, complete. The main ingredients is definitely the tiger nuts. So this is my coconuts. It will go into it as well. To serve as a natural sweetener, so I don't need to add sugar. Sugar. Okay. So there's a date as well, so I don't need to add. And they are all sweet. Yes, they are all sweet. Mm. So complement each other. Tiger nut is a root vegetable. It's known for its rich nutritional values. Its milk flavor is reminiscent with both coconut and date flavor. You know, it can actually be boiled, roasted, or juiced. So we are going to juice it today. So today yeah, we're oh, using it today, and it has rich yeah, its nutritional value. It's it's out of this world. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it uh, reduces blood sugar level. Then it serves as an immune booster. Mm. Then it also increases sperm count. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Good so, to know. Thanks <laughs> for making details. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Yeah, for additional flavor. Yes, yeah, sir. For additional flavor, um, I'm going to add some ginger. Freshly chopped, uh, freshly chopped ginger into it. Blend further? Yes, I'll blend further. It's blended enough. So you can see it's blended enough. So I'm going to take it out right now and sieve it. Now that the sieving, the tiger nut drink is ready. Okay, so the tiger nut have been sieved, so we're going to turn them into these drinking jars so we could refrigerate them. And it's, a, it's better served cold. So that's it. The main ingredient for the actual pudding is the actual grain, milk, and sugar. That's all. Mm. So, very healthy. Mm. The calabash should have been best. Okay, so at this point, the water, the water is boiled, mm -hmm. so we're going to turn in our washed acha. Mm. Turn in our washed acha. Thank you. Okay, 
so why I I I wait wait for the archer to cook. We went to prepare the garnishing, the grapes. Remember when I started, I said it could be garnished with uh, any fruit of your choice. So uh, we are going to garnish ours with um, grapes and kiwi. So, Garnish. This is a spring onion, mm -hmm. so you just take a little bit of it. You know, it's the flavor of spring onions is. Just to give it yes a greeny so. color. <laughs> this is tasting it's time. Tasting yeah, time. It's tasting time. So I can't wait to taste this. Here, so. Let's dig into the Agba King. Yes. <laughs> okay. You taste mm. this. <laughs> I can't wait. Wow. Ah, I got lucky <laughs> with a piece of dry fish. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's African, you know? Yes, mm. okay. okay. I want to feel what you felt. Mm -hmm. So I think I got more luck here. Yeah. <laughs> We're bringing Africa. Africa. So, it's beautiful. Yeah. They ought to all taste the stride out in your houses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Adding our milk, we stay. <laughs> okay. Adding our sugar. These are grapes. You want to take your pudding with a little bit of fruits. Of course. And you feel the fruits. To add in. an extra flavor to yes. it. Mm -hmm. And the pudding Please is ready. ready. <laughs> well done, well done. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we are done with the okay. tasting of Agba King. Now we taste the Acha pudding. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, since you're the guest, I like it. It's beautiful. Can't wait to dig into this too. <laughs> oh, look at them swimming in that pudding. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. I just hope you're not exaggerating. I'm not. It's lovely. <laughs> you're making your viewers want to call this in. Are, you know, but this is something that's readily available. Okay, so These ingredients you. are readily available, okay, and so anybody could try it out. Okay. Mm. 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 I just hope you're not exaggerating. The marriage mm. in my mouth is <laughs> fantastic. Honestly, wow. and one could take this without sugar, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. because there's already a bit of sugar popping out from the kiwi from the, and yes, the grapes. Yes, Diabetics should take advantage of yes. this, honestly. It's beautiful. Well done, Chef Benita. Thank you. Well it just occurred to me that we showcased, are you getting it? Yes, I The do. core central part of Nigeria, the middle belt. Yeah. You know, in through the Agba King meal, yes. all right, yes. and then we now came a little bit, you know, down to um, Joss. Yes, we showcased the Acha, 
Yes. It's planted in jaws, and of yes. course, if you live in jaws, there is no way you will say you do not know what Archer is. Yes. Or if for whatever reason you've had something that has taken you to jaws, you might have encountered the Archer pudding, yes. which you kind of hyped up a bit with the um, with incorporation the of the uh, fresh um, fruits, you know, the grapes and the kiwi. And then we now came back to corner. And we're about to taste the Kuno <laughs> Aya. Kuno Aya. Cheers. Mm. Let's see what it tastes like. This one that is <laughs> prepared by you. <laughs> wow. What is it? It's thick and really tasty. Sumptuous. You can see that. My you? goodness. Well, I'm glad you like it. It's fantastic. Wow. You don't give this to a lazy child, you know. To what? A lazy child. <laughs> <laughs> a culinary adventure, you've learned about Agbaki, which chef Benita Zaki graciously prepared today on the program. Our God's willing be back next week with another new cuisine on Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of today. Bye now.